Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Odoo WooCommerce application. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import unshipped orders from your WooCommerce store to Odoo. You can import unshipped orders from WooCommerce store to Odoo in three ways. You can either import in real time, you can either import using the scheduler or you can import the orders manually. Before importing the orders, now let us set up few configuration for the orders and for the tax. To do that, go to Odoo WooCommerce application, go to configuration and settings, select the instance from the drop down menu and go to order configuration. Under order configuration, we have the first field WooCommerce import order status. What this represents is what type of orders you wish to import from your WooCommerce store to Odoo. In WooCommerce, we have multiple order statuses. It can either be processing, pending payment, on hold or completed. So you can select the respective statuses from the drop down menu. You can either keep it to you can either keep it to processing or pending payment or on hold. So what this means is if I have an order in my WooCommerce, which is either in the processing state or in the pending payment state or in the on hold state, I will only import these orders from my WooCommerce store to Odoo. If I only select processing, it is only going to import the processing orders from my WooCommerce store to Odoo and ignore the on hold or pending payment orders. So in my case, I would like to select all of them. Now the second is use Odoo's default sequence. Do you want to wish to use Odoo's order sequence or not? If you activate it, it is going to use the Odoo's order sequence. If you deactivate it, it is going to use the WooCommerce order sequence. Third option is WooCommerce order prefix. What this means is if I add a prefix of saying Woo, so next time when I import any orders from my WooCommerce store to Odoo, it will have Woo as a prefix followed by the order number. The next is the tax configuration. So when it comes to tax configuration, we have two options. Do you want to use the Odoo's default tax or do you want to create new tax if not found? So if you select Odoo's default tax, so when you're importing an order from your WooCommerce store to Odoo, it is going to follow the tax which you have set in your Odoo. However, if you wish to use the tax which you have created in your WooCommerce, you can select create new tax if not found. So what this does is when you're importing an order from your WooCommerce store to Odoo, whatever tax you have applied in your WooCommerce store, it will be automatically been created in your Odoo as well so that you don't have to create any new tax in Odoo. This completes the order and the tax configuration. Let's click on save. Apart from this, you'll also have to make sure that you have set up the financial status and the sales auto workflow before importing the orders. If you have not set the financial status or the sales auto workflow, the orders will not get imported. So let me show you what are the sales auto workflow I have set. So let's go to configuration and sales auto workflow. I have two workflows set. One is for the prepaid orders where the payment method is either PayPal, credit card, debit card or Stripe. And the second is the postpaid orders where the payment method is cash on delivery or bank transfer or etc. So if you go to configuration and financial status, I have set accordingly all my workflows and financial status for the respective payment gateways. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we can import the orders in three ways. You can either import in real time using the scheduler or you can import the orders manually. So let's import the orders real time. That is using the webhook. So you'll have to activate webhook in our Odoo WooCommerce application. To activate webhook, you need to go to configuration and settings. Select the instance from the drop down menu and go to webhook configuration. So we have manage orders via webhook. Once you activate this, 
Any order placed in your WooCommerce store will automatically be imported to Odoo within a minute or two. To use the webhook configuration, you'll have to make sure that you have an SSL certificate in your Odoo. If you do not have an SSL certificate, you will not be able to use webhook configuration. Now let's click on save. So let's go to our WooCommerce store. Let's place an order. So let's place an order for the product shoe. Click on add to cart, view cart, proceed to checkout. I have entered the customer details over here. I'm going to select the payment method as direct bank transfer. And I'm going to place an order. The order number is 1905. So let's go to the WooCommerce admin panel. Let's go to WooCommerce and orders. As you can see, the order number 1095 is over here. It will take a minute or two for the orders to be imported into my Odoo. So let's go to Odoo. Let's refresh the page. As you can see, the order has been imported. If you go to sales and orders, you'll be able to see the order 1905 has been imported. Delivery has been automatically been created. Invoices also has been automatically been created. It has been posted as well. When importing the orders, the customer who has placed the order gets also been imported to Odoo as well. So in my case, the customer was John Doe with the customer information. So let's go to sales and customers. I have a customer John Doe over here. And the customer information has also been imported to Odoo. Apart from importing the orders using the real time, you can also import the orders using the scheduler. To do that, go to configuration and instance option. Click on the respective instance and go to configure scheduler. Over here, we have import orders in Odoo. Select that. We can select respective time frame. So let's say in my case, I would like to import the orders every 25 minutes. So I'm going to keep it 25. I'm going to set the interval type to minutes. Now from which date would I like to start the scheduler? So I would like to start the scheduler today. That is 24th of March. And I'm going to click on save. So once I click on save, it is going to import all my unshipped orders, which are either processing, pending payment or on hold from my WooCommerce store to Odoo. Apart from this, if you want to import the orders manually, go to the WooCommerce dashboard, go to perform operation. From the operation menu, select import unshipped orders. And over here, you'll have the start date and the end date. So from which date to which date you would like to import the orders from your WooCommerce store to Odoo. And click on execute. 